Hello again, YouTubers. It's me again. Um, I shot a video the other day of just the end of my season vlog. Uh, I just put it up last night, and before that was a little um, a little go through of the um, of the mystery tackle box. And while I was doing that, I discovered I, I set up two cameras. And while I was doing that, I discovered that the sound of the GoPro was garbage. I don't know why. I had, I had, an, I had my Nikon D3300 D set up, which is what I'm filming with now, on a little tripod on the table. And that's what the camera that was showing what I was opening. Or it was showing when I, when I set it on the table. And I had the GoPro facing me, so you could see me opening stuff. And you could see my face. Well... When I went to do the video, the sound in the GoPro was, it sounded like there was, somebody was cutting the grass or something. It was like, J -j 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 -j, you know, like that. And the sound in the Nikon was pretty good. There was a little bit of an echo in it. I fixed that in, uh, in, in post-production. But uh, the sound of the GoPro was unfixable. So I thought maybe a mic would help. So that's what I'm doing here today. I ordered it two days ago. It's a microphone specifically for the GoPro. And it came, I, I got it through Amazon Prime, so it came in two days. And we're going to open it up and I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to try it out. And we'll, we'll see if it works. Maybe this will help those that are buying them know if that's what they want or not. So here we go. I got my scissors ready. I'm going to open it up. See? <laughs> okay, I've cut it open. Uh, this is a... I don't know what this is. It doesn't come with a camera. Maybe it's for the GoPro. It's, it's got a, um, looks like a lens cleaner. It says butterfly photo or something like that on it. I don't know if that's who makes it or whatever. But this is a Vid Pro XM G10. Battery powered, wired, lavalier microphone for GoPro Hero cameras. That's what it is. I'll try and put it so it's in focus. Okay, here's the instructions. It looks like a quick, uh, quick use guide or something. Microphone. I'm going to unbox it, and I'm going to show you what comes in it, and then I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to hook it up to the GoPro and try it. This is how it comes, and it's already fallen out. You've got your... Now I'm probably going to pull on something and break it. And yes, I need the glasses. They're here somewhere. Uh, this is the stuff you always get. Don't eat it. They make sure you know that. And this is your on-off switch. Uh, I read in some of the reviews on Amazon.com that the negative stars seem to be that the battery does not last very long. And I saw a couple guys, they said, uh, I'm assuming they were guys, it could be girls too. Sorry, girls. Um, they said that the biggest complaint to this is sometimes you think you've got it on and you don't, so you're not recording anything, you got to do it over again. Or you forget it's on and you leave it on and you kill the battery. They say the batteries don't last very long, which anything that... <laughs> it's not made by GoPro, and I love GoPros. Please don't, don't think I'm slamming GoPro. I love GoPros. One of the knocks on the GoPros is the batteries don't last too long. Well, a battery on a GoPro without the backpack will last you an hour. To me, that's long enough. I mean, have you ever tr tried to shoot more than an hour? Now, you may bring it on a shoot and leave it on and blah, 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 and I know you're only using five minutes of the video when the battery dies, but all right, I'm getting off my soapbox here. Um, this, it has a 20-foot cable, so I like that. I can plug it in to my GoPro and put my GoPro across the room if I want to. So I like that about it. It's, here's your microphone. It's got the clip-on thing is here. It's got the clip-on. Here's the battery, right there, and that's the little foamy microphone cover thingy. Yeah, I like these cute little words. I'm sorry. <laughs> here we go. That you put on the microphone. It takes care of distortion and wind. We'll see. Let's put it on. I've never put one of these on a microphone, so I'm probably going to tear it right before your eyes. Glasses. Uh, 
this is really going to help my subscriptions. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, we're twisting it on. I hope I wasn't supposed to turn anything on before I did that. The microphone that I normally use, I've done some videos with voiceovers, and you're going to laugh. I've done some videos with voiceovers because in the beginning I was too shy to look at the camera, which I still am. Most of the time you're going to see me looking down, I'm looking at the monitor. Uh, and I apologize for that too, but I'm, I'm still learning how to do this too. So eventually I'll learn to look at the camera, but my first bunch of videos, I, I shot the video and then I did voiceovers. I used the microphone and I... I spoke into it and I put the voices where I needed to on the video. Well, the, the microphone I used for that is back here. And it comes with this. I got this stand with it. This, <laughs> this is a Rock Band 2 microphone. And I put these little pieces of foam on it because my first couple times I used it, the sound sound was distorted and you could hear all the P's and the T's and everything pop. So I put that, I, I used a rubber band and put the foam on it. That was my microphone to do the voiceovers and that seemed to work as long as nobody could see what it was I was using. So this is, this is the first microphone that I bought specifically for making my videos. I just happened to have that microphone laying around. I plugged it into my computer and it worked. So there you go. All right. Uh, this looks like it clips on the microphone itself, which I've covered with the foam. So let's put the glasses back on again. Yeah, I'm a guy. I don't read instructions. Sorry. There you go. It's clipped on. I should have done that in front of the camera, but sorry. And then... You take this off and you run it under your shirt and you clip it to your collar and voila. It clips here and we'll try it. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got the microphone on as you can see. It's connected to my GoPro which is over there. See? I've put it about the same place I had it the other day on the 16th. The ceiling fan is right above it. That's what I thought might be making the racket. Um, here's the uh, controller. So I'm going to turn it on now. I don't know if the GoPro tells you it's on or not. And I'm going to start the GoPro filming. And we'll do a little video and we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it sounds. I still have the video clips that were horrible. I can do a side to side. You know, you can you can make your mind up for yourself whether or not it works. I don't like to do negative reviews. I probably will never do a negative review. So, so I'm going to ramble on for a little while here about nothing, just just to give the the uh, microphone a test and see how it comes out. Um, now I don't know what to say, right? Okay, I think I've got enough footage to where, where I can test the, uh, the microphone. So I'm going to sign off. Okay, it's me again. I did the test on the microphone. And I pulled the card from the GoPro and put it in, the, in my PC. And got no sound. Guess what? Yes, I'm a bonehead. I did not put the battery. It helps if you read the instructions sometimes. I did not put the battery in the unit here. Uh, right now I have it on. And there's a little light up here. Or supposed to be, I guess. It should be working. I've got the, the GoPro aimed at me. Okay. One last thing. I have tested the microphone. Yes, it does work when you put the batteries in. The, the sound, I thought, came out pretty good. A lot better than the GoPro without, without, the, without the microphone plugged in. And you'll hear that. I'll put some of that up for you to you can hear the difference. I'll also uh, compare it to the sound from the Nikon. 
I'll leave the sound the way it came out. I won't do any post-production editing of the sound. I'll leave it exactly the way it came out so you can hear what it, com what it sounds like on the Nikon. You can hear what it sounds like on the GoPro and before I added the microphone. And you'll be able to hear what it sounds like with the microphone. I'm just testing the microphone out now. So while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll read some of what this instruction book says. It says for GoPro, Hero 4, Hero 3 Plus, and 3. So while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll read some of what this instruction book says. It says for GoPro, Hero 4, Hero 3 Plus, and 3. I guess I've rambled on for long enough, but there is uh, two things I still want to do. So while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll read some of what this instruction book says. It says for GoPro, Hero 4, Hero 3 Plus, and 3. Now, I'm not a professional video guy, as you could probably tell by now, and I'm not a professional sound guy. Um, I may have had the mic. I've never worn a clip-on microphone before. I may have had it too close to my mouth or in the wrong. I don't know. That I can work on another time. I just want. I just want to make sure that I, when I use the GoPro, it's not going to get that nasty lawnmower noise in it. So, um, I'm satisfied with how it came out. I mean, it's from the other day. I mean, I shot for 45 minutes. The video for those. It, it ended up being two videos. And I went to use the sound on the GoPro, and I got that, and I'm like, I can't use this. And my Nikon shuts off after 20 minutes. Um, I had already got the part I wanted on it, so I didn't bother restarting it. So everything I said after the 20 minutes sounded like garbage. So I couldn't use it. So I, lucky for you, <laughs> lucky for you, my videos would have been longer if... Uh, if the sound came out any good. So lucky for you, um, I couldn't use the sound. Um, so uh, once again, have a Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my review of this microphone. Uh, once again, it's the VidPro XM G10. Uh, battery powered, wired, lavalier microphone for GoPro Hero cameras. With, you can see it in red, with the 20 foot audio cable. Um, this is it. I'm happy with it. Uh, and the price. I guess I should give you the price. I'll uh, I'll do a screenshot of the Amazon.com uh, web website. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, I had Amazon Prime, so I got free shipping, and I had it in two days, like I said. So on Amazon.com, it's it's like 20 bucks. To to me, that's worth it. it, it you could pay 200 dollars and have the best sound in the world, or I'm happy with this for 20 bucks. I'm I'm a I'm a save as much money as I can kind of guy. So I I think I think it's worth the 20 bucks. So take care again and have a merry Christmas. If I don't make another video between now and then, and um, keep on keeping on. Take care. Bye.